Hello, guys. Today, we're going to be reviewing section 1.4 of business, which is basically about stakeholders. So we're going to begin by actually defining what a stakeholder is. So a person or organization that affects or is affected by the business. Stakeholders are often classified as external or internal, like I previously mentioned in, in other videos, and primary versus secondary and market versus non-market. But of course, the most important is um external or internal so internal stakeholders are uh, stakeholders who are internal which are mean meaning that they're inside the business such as employees managers or shareholders external uh, stakeholders are stakeholders who are external outside the business organizations such as suppliers customers governments media and the community so now we're going to be talking about the interests of internal stakeholders so you can understand who they are and what their like jobs are specifically. So the interests of internal stakeholders include that shareholders, basically shareholders, what they do is that they invest into the business and then they get returns on their investment through, through dividends, meaning that after um, the business does its profit, it, like gets its profits and like all the calculations are made in the profit and loss, but this is in chapter uh, three. So if you're still beginning, I, I like IDP, you don't have to worry about it, but if you're viewing for your official exams, you have to know about it. So and this is uh, basically it for dividends. Um, so they end up, um, after doing all their calculations, they, the business ends up deciding whether they're going to give dividends or not because they can decide not to give dividends. But anyways, the main interest of shareholders who are internal stakeholders is the return on their investment, which is, I'm going to write this down, dividends. Okay. So the CEO or managing director focuses on coordinating the business strategy and delivering profits and returns that satisfy the shareholders. So again, keep in mind that the CEO and managing directors are internal to the business because they're inside the business, okay? And they're technically employees in the business, but very high-ranking employees. They have senior positions. Senior managers focus on strategic objectives for their functional areas. We talked about that in the um, section 1.3 uh, for objectives. Middle managers focus on the tactical objectives for the functional areas. Former and supervisors focus on organizing tactical objectives and formulating operational objectives. Employees and their unions focus on protecting their rights in working conditions because at the end of the day, employees, um, their main goal is basically to have a certain standard of living in order for them to actually survive. The interests of external stakeholders who are outside the business are governments because they're focused on how the business operates in the business environment. Um, and they also take taxes from the business. Suppliers focus on maintaining a stable relationship with the business. Um, consumers and consumers focus on the best product that meets their needs. Um, so basically for the price, for what they want, this is what they focus on. People in the local community focus on the impact of the business in the local area, whether it's for pollution, whether it's noise, whatever it is, but usually it's pollution and noise. That's why um, businesses need to focus on that. Financiers focus on returns of on their investments, like for example, um, business a not business angels, but like banks who gave the 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 business like loans with interest. Pressure groups focus on how the business has an impact on the area of concern, whether it's for animal rights, uh, if the business uses like animal skins or furs and whatnot, and whether it's for environmental rights. Um, the media focuses on the impact of the business in terms of the news stories. So basically, this is it. You don't have to really know these, but I just included them in this video. Um, for example, when I was studying for my official exams, I didn't review these, but I included them in this video so you guys can actually understand the difference between the interests of internal and external stakeholders. And by the way, if you are new to IB, you can always join my beginners IB revision sessions, um, which are coming soon, uh, because I actually explain IB like it's for beginners, uh, like I'm doing now. I just chop it up into pieces uh, to make it easier for you. So now conflict between stakeholder interests. So groups of uh, people with a common interest, such as a business, may also have difference of opinion. So, okay, they're all stakeholders and they're all related to the business, but each one has like a different um, perspective and a different goal at the end of the day. So now we're going to be talking about an example, a pay rise for employees. So shareholders may object to this idea. Why? Because once the, um, the, um, um, the, the salaries of employees increases, meaning that the cost of production will also increase, meaning that the, the, the profits will decrease. Once profits will decrease, dividends will decrease. Because as we know, um, dividends, the, more, the higher the profits, the more likely the dividends are going to be higher. Okay, so this is why shareholders may oppose to this idea, but at the other end, the employees themselves, they favor payers because they want to have a higher standard of living, they want to have a better life, they want more money at the end of the day. 
and between these two positions there may be other stakeholders um that are not like the they're not the employees or the shareholders but they will have their own opinions based on their um based on their perspective and what they will benefit in their end goal thus and decision of importance such as a general pay raise at the uh, pay raise at the a business will elicit different reactions from different stakeholders. In, situ in the situation, friction may result and alliances may be formed as each stakeholder group tries to achieve their desired outcome. So again, stakeholders conflict, they're actually very, very common. You can always talk about them when you're evaluating in the 10 markers. Um, this is very important. And keep, keep in mind that... Um, um, yeah, you have to keep in mind that uh, the, the circumstances are always different for stakeholder conflicts. It really depends on the conflict itself and depends on the stakeholders at stake, basically. Um, for example, it could be that the business wants to make in, uh, an investment, which would also in the short term hire the cost of production. And therefore, the um, the employees, um, not the employees, I apologize, the shareholders may oppose to it because this will actually make them, will negatively impact their dividends. Um, yeah, and even the value of their shares. So that's why if you guys want to really um, specify on the way to answer, you have to really, really base it on the on the, on the the case. And if you want to ever practice any cases, you can always join my tutoring sessions, which will, will be coming soon. So the power of interest model. So basically, this is like a model where it shows level of interest and the degree of power. You have group A, minimal uh, effort. So these are like stakeholders. It's not, these are not shareholders, they're stakeholders. Sorry. So stakeholders in group A, these stakeholders have minimal effort in the business and have limited power over it. So they're like not a problem for the business. The business will not invest their time, resources, and money to even like sp like spend on them. Stakeholders in group B, they have high uh level of interest but low degree of power so the business will like make a um like make an effort to make them feel included this includes the owners and managers the stakeholders in group c they're very important they have to be kept satisfied because of their high degree of power so um they're pivotal for the business and the, the business has to find a way to flatter their self-esteem and uh, to um and to make them feel important because they have a power to influence other groups stakeholders in group t they have a high group of uh, uh high group um i don't know why i wrote group four this is group d they have a high degree of power and they have a high level of interest these stakeholders are the most important the business must consult this group of stakeholders before any decision and the failure to satisfy these stakeholders can result in a very negative consequence for the business so guys we're done that's it thank you so much for watching bye bye and um please like and comment if you have any questions and this is it and please subscribe thank you for watching bye